We're on step number four of a seven part series of how to build your brand from scratch. I am taking you through a full seven step launch process that I use and I've created over a thousand mini courses and masterclasses. I've got 70 plus products that I've created that I sell. I've got a lot of support and mentorship and programs and and lots and lots of different things I support our brand builders club members with and I'm sharing with you now exactly how I create brand and launch every product that I've ever made and I made some serious mistakes at the very beginning I don't want you to have to go through that process I think there are some lessons that we each need to learn in business but when it comes to this kind of thing you don't need to learn those painful lessons you can just learn through me <laughs> all, the, all the things that I've learned just take the easy and shortcut uh, to success but without cutting corners that's the key thing <music> So we're on step number four. Already we've looked at how do you do the right research? How do you do the right research to find out what your ideal customers actually want to pay you for? We looked at how do you craft an offer in step three. The step before this, we looked at how do you go through a soft launch process to test that it's working? And now in step number four, we're looking at the launch itself. Now, my advice to you is now that you've gone through this process and you've got your testers, you've got people who uh, you've got this list of people who can be your brand ambassadors that can give you feedback and take you even further um, on a, a success route than you would ever go trying to do it on your own. Now you've gone through that process, it's time to create and craft some materials that will enable your ambassadors to share the work that you're doing in a bigger, bigger way. So when it comes to creating a launch, something that you want to think about doing is creating what we call in the industry swipe copy. Swipe copy is, is copy, is content that your ambassadors can literally just swipe, copy and paste. So they're, they're called swipe files. The kind of swipe files that, that you can create are emails. So create some email templates that you can give to them so they can literally swipe it, copy, paste and then add a little bit in. But you've done all of the hard work for them. All they've got to do is put their little frame around it and send it out. Social media posts as well. So come up with the actual wording for the social media posts, but also come up with the graphics for those as well. I personally love Canva. Canva.com or PicMonkey is another one. They're free resources. They're freemium models. So yes, you can pay to, to be part of those processes and you get a lot more things unlocked, obviously. But on the free version, there's so much that they give away, especially with Canva. It's my preferred personal favorite. Canva, it's got thousands of images on there. So you don't have to worry about where you're getting your images from because by being a part of Canva, you're already using their image library. They've already sourced them. They've already paid for them. They've already got the copyright to be able to use them. So you can use any of the images that are already built into Canva. And they've got templates. You can create YouTube thumbnails. You can create Instagram graphics, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, you can even design your own magazines, you can design flyers, brochures, you name it, you can design it yourself on Canva and they've made it so easy for you to do it. I am a designer by trade. That's what I trained in. That's what I qualified in. I was a designer for a long, long time. So to see a program that, that has made it so easy, even for someone like me who is a designer, to just go bish bash bosh and it be done. It's just made the process so easy. And someone like you, who might not have the same years of design experience that I had before I started moving more into the branding route, you well, if you don't have that experience, then Canva's great for you because it's literally just drag and drop and type over the top of the templates and things they've already got there. And you can even design things yourself. So I would personally use Canva. So that's what I would do. I would put together a promotion pack that will go out with your product. It's what I do for every single one of my products and services. Because the more you can get your ambassadors sharing, the better it's going to be for you because they're going to have access to networks that you would never have on your own. There's another terminology that is referred uh, to in the industry where it comes to uh, marketing of products and services, you, which is, well, there's a couple really, there's affiliate marketing. So somebody could become an affiliate, they could 
earn some money in response for promoting your product or service. Usually in the industry, that's like a 50-50 split. So if you've created a product and you want to have somebody else go out there and promote it for you, give them 50% of any of the money that comes in from it to from the people that they have driven to that product they don't get 50% of everything only 50% of the sales they've made and you're going to create a, a stranger into a friend from their list and you'll be able to go on there and, and really build a lifetime relationship with them so whilst you'll give them 50% of that first sale they don't get 50% of every sale after that unless you make a different agreement It can be otherwise called a joint venture as well. You might create something with somebody and partner up and then send that out to both of your lists. Instead of you just trying to do it on one list, you do it with a a number of lists. For example, um, the Law of Brand Attraction book that you can see behind me there. um, I got 25 of my, well, I got 22 of my Brand Builders Club members together. As soon as uh, we started going into a global pandemic, I said, listen, guys and girls, we're really at an advantage here because in Brand Builders Club, I've been training them how to create a global business, how to create income coming in from a global economy, not just from your doorstep or your one country. So we all had really strong businesses. And and I said to them, look, you know, we have a duty now to pay it forward and give back. So let's each of us contribute towards creating a book and we got a publisher on board who was brilliant and we each put the same amount of money in so we contributed the same to get this book published and we gave a hundred percent of the proceeds to a children's charity so we supported vulnerable and at-risk business owners and and business owners that really needed to bring money in fast that's what the content of the book was about the law of brand attraction so attracting lots and lots of new customers to your brand So that the biggest problem you have then is working out how many customers you actually want. And then the proceeds went to vulnerable and at-risk children. So we had a brilliant, brilliant strategy that was a give back, pay it forward. It felt really good. And it was amazing for us to each of us share just one little strategy from that. So that's an example of a joint venture. So I came up with the idea and the title and the wording and the promotion and they all contributed their chapters. And I actually didn't write a chapter in that book because I knew that they were all going to go into analysis paralysis and perfectionism. So I said, look, I'm going to be your perfectionist. You just write the piece and I'm going to go through and perfect it. And we'll make sure this book is absolutely sparkling and each of your brands are sparkling. So They all went through a process. We made sure each of them had a fame name. We made sure that their biographies were really good, that they had a press pack in place so that once their book was published, they'd be able to send it out to the press and get loads and loads of interviews and drive as much exposure to their number one Amazon best-selling book, right? So we did that. Got 22 brand builders plus myself and a couple of my friends from The Secret, Marie Diamond and Bob Doyle. And so we all took part. So there were 25 of us that were then generating publicity and exposure to that one product. So that's otherwise known as a joint venture. And I had to create the swipe copy and the social media graphics and actually um, there were a few of the the people that were part of the project that also got involved and they created things like Vicky Ibar she was one of our experts she's an online course creation course creation coach and she created some graphics because that's something she knows how to do so it, every single person took a responsibility for the promotion of that that product so how could you get other people involved in maybe your own collaboration product I believe that if you create a movement or a community around anything you're always going to sell more of it and ultimately The whole point of doing a joint venture product like that was that we were able to really highlight each of the people in there and even put their contact details in there so that if somebody really resonated with their story and with their piece, then they could just immediately get in contact with them. And a lot of our brand builders did some really good business off the back of that book. And of course, it didn't cost very much because we each contributed a small part towards a greater thing. So that's something for you to think about in terms of the actual launch of your products and services. And actually, I found that by launching that book before my next book, my next book then got lots of publicity and exposure, way more than it would have done because there were already people that were following me that had never heard of me before. So that's something for you to consider and also for you to think about your swipe copy. So remember, email templates, 
I would give at least three to five email templates, some short ones, a couple of longer ones as well all linking to the product or service. So you've already tested that the link works. Just make sure that your web address and any contact details are all in there. Remember the process I talked through in step two. Why you, why me, why this, why now offer <laughs> call to action, right? Make sure that it includes those and, um, and then your graphics and then the wording that's going to go with those graphics. At the very least, you want to do that. Also consider the other ways that, of course, you can drive more attention to your product or service. What podcasts can you get interviews on? that you then talk about this product or service? What radio shows could you reach out to and let them know that you've got this new product that you're launching or this new service and you'd love to um, to support people with that? Um, it might be that instead of, you know, they tend to go less for, for promotional stuff than they do for um, you saying it's such and such awareness month and I'd love to come on and talk about this because I'm actually about to launch a product that blah 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 right so they, they speak and um, and act um, in a higher way if you if you tend to make it something that's going to help their viewers rather than selling it to their viewers also think about what virtual summits are coming up that you could get onto what um, other shows could you get onto and you know you could become part of different groups that there are podcasting groups there are different groups that are on Facebook that I know of for sure where you can go on and you can find guests and be a guest you know I've found a lot of guests for my confessions of a global change maker show as a result of going and putting out a request on there so there are people who are looking for other people for their interviews and they're short of content and so you're actually making it much easier for them by saying hey I've got some content <laughs> uh, you know I'm looking for more speaking opportunities is who do you know that um, that might want somebody to talk about this topic? So just use every avenue that you can and obviously use your own emails, start sending your own emails out. If you have an email newsletter, send that out. It's just keeping that heartbeat going. It's creating consistency and making sure that if you say you're going to deliver on something that you definitely do. So we are heading towards step number five now. So we've done this process. We're on step four. We're going into step five in the next step. So we're looking at the next piece which is to optimize and relaunch, okay? We're doing that followed by illuminate, followed by systemize. So this is a whole seven step process. If you've enjoyed the process, if you've enjoyed these videos so far, if you've got anything from them, I'd love to know in the comments below what you're getting from being part of this series. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe and please do let other people know about the How to Build a Brand YouTube channel. I have a question for you. As always, here is your question for this show. What goals are you focused on right now? I'd love to know what your goals are right now. What is that thing that's really renting a space in your head that's making you get totally super juiced and so totally focused so that you can serve in a bigger way? I want to hear about that. And if there's anything that I can do or anyone that I know by letting me know what your goals are, I can surely help you to get there a lot faster. If it's not with me, then there'll be someone I know that can help you with that. And probably one of our Brand Builders Club members from around the world will probably be a great partner to help you get out there what you're working on. So let us know below and I'll do my very best to support you to brand build and grow your business. Take care. I'll see you in step number five.